our Easter joy. 8. Station Jesus strengthens bond of friendship with his disciples. When they had gone ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. Then he added, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. From the Gospel of St. John Jesus appeared to the seven disciples who took the carriage to get out of the locked room to go fishing at the Sea of Tiberias. He helped them recognize him through the big catch of fish. On the shore, he has prepared a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. This could warm the hearts of the disciples as they remind them of how he multiplied the bread and fish in the mountain. He reminds them of the compassion that they are to live out as his disciples and the care for people they can give from the core of their being. By offering bread and fish, Jesus firms up the bond of friendship that they have with him. It is a relationship of love actualized in loving service of others in the same way he did. Partaking in the bread and fish offered by Jesus symbolizes their renewed acceptance of their vocation to be friends of Jesus and doers of his mission of bringing the kingdom of God alive in the world. Look at Jesus as he stands on the beach to welcome the seven disciples. What do you feel from Jesus? Feel his desire to be with his disciples once again. Now, see the disciples approaching and greeting Jesus. What is your sense of each of the disciples? In particular, how does Peter feel? How does John, who recognized the Lord first, feel? How do you feel as you see them all gathered as a group of friends once again? Sit with them and feel their bond and love of friendship that seems to permeate all of them. How does it feel to be sitting with Jesus and his friends? What do you hear or sense from Jesus? What do you hear from the disciples? Speak to Jesus about your friendship with him. In the silence of your heart, listen to Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are our true friend you make me understand what friendship with you means. It is all about loving you by loving others. Thank you for the friendship that you continue to offer and give to me. Lord, I beg, strengthen my resolve to love you and become your true friend. Please help me commit myself more deeply to you because this is the only one that would satisfy my soul. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead, I put my hope in you.